the vector scope doesn't deal with luminance at all. It only deals with color. And the, ve the vector scope tells us what colors are in our image. And it's almost as if if you took each pixel of the image and depending on where the co what color it was, laid it on top of this graph, it would, uh, you, that's what you're seeing here. And these little targets here are showing you where certain colors are. So this is red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow. And those boxes would be pure red or magenta or so forth. And the further out from the center you are, the more saturated you are. And like most images, there's not that much saturation. That pink is very saturated, and so it's really visible. But the bulk of the image is right here in the center, and that that is sort of in the brown. That's what we're seeing, the brown, and then the skin tones of the people there. Let's just go to a different image here. Uh, this one, you can see some really nice little details. Let's actually zoom in here. I'm going to set the scale from 100% to 133%. That's just going to amplify it a little bit so we can see a little bit more clearly what we're looking at. And here you can see that there is some red, some little pink areas. There's one that's uh, almost pure red, and then there's a little bit more somewhere between red and magenta. And if you look at the image, well, what is that? Well, there's the red right here of this cross on the wall, and then there's some other oranges and this red here. And, but some of these are a little bit pinker, as well as the straps on her shirt, right? All of that is on the pink area. All that is, is making up this area here. There's also this bit, little uh, group of dots over here heading towards green, and that is probably this green of this map here, I mean, of this cross up here, the letters, and you see it's just a little very narrow line. It's a very precise color. That's probably what that is, those, that very precise color. And then there's the yellow of this little, the yellow up here. So all those individual colors are really clearly visible on the vector scope. If you go to this image here, you can see that the whole blob is skewed up towards the yellow and red. Everything is skewed up in that direction, and that's that's what you see in the image. The whole thing's got that yellowish, orangish hue on it. And you see this the little outline there that shows you the color wheel. This is a really important detail, and we'll come back to this when we're doing our actual color correction. The, the understanding that red is opposite cyan and green is opposite magenta and yellow is opposite blue, understanding those axes will really help you in operating when you're playing with the color board so that you can think about just removing colors as well as adding colors. And uh, and then finally, one more here. Let's just go to here. This is the, the image is very monochromatic. There's not a lot of color. The only color really is her flesh tone and her hair. And all of that is pushing up in that one direction. And this line, see that line there? That line indicates flesh tone. And all human flesh tone uh, falls along that basic color, somewhere between yellow and red. And people who are dark skin are going to be more saturated. People who are paler are going to be less saturated. And, of course, some people are going to be a little bit more towards the ruddy side on the red. And some people are going to be a little bit more towards the olive side on the yellow. But generally, all human flesh tone falls along that line, what we call the eye bar. And because it's such a common thing and so important to get your flesh tones right, that's why you can see that line. You can turn that off. Uh, you can... You can say hide skin tone indicator, and that will make that line go away if that's distracting you from whatever else you're working on. But so this is the vector scope, and unlike the waveform monitor where we really focus on contrast and, and brightness, this is really helpful for figuring out colors.